Are you? She's going to come and see you. Yeah, snap. Did you not be getting ready? This time, yeah. You managed to sleep? Not really, no. Yeah. Me neither. Aaron, I wish I could be there for you. I promise you, as soon as I've given evidence, I'll be there every second. Funny. It's fine. Heel! Heel! Daisy! That training paid off, Luke. Oh. I did ring, but obviously. Oh, she was taking me for a walk. <laughs> oh, how's number one, son? He's great, actually. <laughs> I just wondered if you fancied having him for the day. Really? Yeah, Rona thought she should spend some time apart, just get her ready for when she goes back to work. Of course, I'd love to. You sure Rona's all right with that? Yeah, we both are. Thanks. What time are you in court? Well, I'm a witness, so I have to wait till I get called. It's stupid legal procedures. And how's Aaron? I can't believe he's so calm. Wish him luck from me, please. Yeah, we'll do. Just make sure he behaves himself. No guarantees. <laughs> Listen, kid. You did what you thought was right. So keep your head held high. You got nothing to be ashamed of. You must be in trouble if you're being nice to me. <laughs> I'm glad you two have got something to smile about. I was trying to cheer him up. Yeah, yeah, why not? I'm sure today's going to be a riot. I'm looking all over the place for you. I thought you'd still be at Paddy's. I'm going to go see Hazel. I'll meet you in the car. No, no, she's up tight enough as it is. Oh. Calm down. The last thing he needs is seeing you all stressed out. You think I'm bad? You should see Hazel. She's all over the place and she's the one in the stand today. Stop finding things to worry about. It does no one any good. I can't help it. Could be banged up by the end of the week. Or he could get off. Come on. You're wasted in that garage. You could be a model. That's what Kane's always telling me. I will try and do my best for you, you know. Just say what you've got to say. And tell the truth. I, I don't want to make it any worse for you. Aaron! Go on, better go. See you later. See ya. Do you think I should go and talk to her? No, bad idea. Want to help? She could only understand. Oh, she can't, and she won't, not until it's all over. All she's thinking about is Aaron. I suppose so. I know that you care. However, there is something you could do that would be really thoughtful and kind. Take me for lunch? <laughs> I'm sorry. Not today. Look right, South Face Bunch. Mm, we're singing and dancing, are they? Nine of them swore on the Bible, I saw. So? So, they're all probably religious fanatics, aren't they? Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, the facts of this case speak for themselves. The defendant, Aaron Livesey, killed Jackson Walsh. He admits it. The defence will no doubt argue that he did so out of some misguided sense of compassion. And whether he did or not is irrelevant. The Crown will argue the facts. Now, it doesn't matter whether Jackson Walsh wanted to die or what his state of mind was at that time. Murder is murder, and Aaron Livesey murdered his boyfriend. It really is as simple as that. Milady, the prosecution would like to call Hazel Rhodes. Hazel Rhodes! It wasn't like that. Jackson made him do it. Does the prosecution, what do you expect him to say? Come on, Hazel, you can do it. The idea was... Jackson couldn't use his hands, you know that. I was holding the glass with the, with the drugs in and I was going to hold it to his mouth so that 
he could drink out of the straw, but... But... Mrs Rhodes? I couldn't do it. I let him down. Well, that's a matter of opinion. No, I did. I should have been able to. Aaron, he took over. He took the glass and he... He poured the drink into Jackson's mouth. So just to be clear, all that you were about to do is hold the glass so that your son could take the drink through a straw. Yeah, but... And then what happened? You know what happened. He died. It was what he wanted. I was grateful to Aaron. He did it because he loved him. We both did. You don't know how hard we tried to change his mind. You didn't give me a chance to say. Feel free. We tried everything. We, uh, we took him on holiday. We went to Whitby. We went fishing and we had to laugh. He even had a go at skydiving. And how did he cope with that? Oh, he loved it. When he jumped out the plane, he was, he was so excited. He took his breath away. He had a great time. Well, could you tell us why you arranged for your son to do all of these exciting, enjoyable things? We, we wanted to prove that, that life was still worth living. You believed your son's life was worth living? Yeah, of course I did. Just Jackson didn't see it that way. You admit your son had a life worth living, a life which Mr. Livesey ended. Yeah, no, no, I, that's not what I meant. No further questions, my lady? You're obviously distressed, Mrs. Rhodes. It must be hard for you going over these events. You don't know how hard. Any of you. It's clear how much you loved your son. Would you tell the court how it felt when he told you he wanted to die? Like I had failed him. Me and Aaron, we, we didn't want to give up on him, but... He didn't want to live anymore. What else could we do? You and Mr. Livesey decided to respect your son's wishes. He was, um, he was desperate. He didn't think there was any point in living, but he, he couldn't do it himself and that made him more and more unhappy. We loved him. We couldn't bear to see him suffer. You were put in an intolerable position. When it, um, when it, it, it came to it, I, uh, I let him down. But Aaron, Aaron was strong. Because he could see how much pain he was in. Jackson, he, he didn't even have to ask. Aaron just, just gave him the drink. Thank you, Mrs. Rhodes. Because he knew that's, that's what he wanted. I mean, that, that's why he did it. You've made that perfectly clear, Mrs. Rhodes. Thank you. What's she done? What did she think she was playing at? I was looking at the jury and they weren't impressed. You don't know about Oh, yes, she does. She's a legal expert and a mind reader rolled into one. Let me guess. I'm going to go at Hazel again. No, no, I wasn't, love. Not exactly. Yes, you were. I just heard you. Yes, and you heard her. This whole thing is a total mess, Aaron. 
Why did you have to tell the police what you'd done? You could have lied. Why did you have to do it in the first place? Well, there's no point getting in a state. Let's go home. Yes, good idea. Come on. Come here. Hmm? Yeah, if you like, yeah. Well, nice one, sis. <laughs> right, listen. Aaron can do without you going off on one, all right? All right, I get the message. How was it? You're asking the wrong person. What do you mean? Well, according to everybody else, I'm spreading doom and gloom. You are? Eh? <sighs> Hazel, she got herself tied up in knots. I mean, she pretty much admitted that Jackson could have had a good life, but that Aaron took it away from him. Hazel? She would never say something like that. <sighs> I don't think she realised where it was going until it was too late. Maybe, maybe it's not as bad as it seems. Paddy, she was his best chance and she blew it. Believe it, would it? No! I promised Aaron that I would help him look after her. That's what I'm going to do. I'm sorry. I let you down. Again. No, you didn't. And I shouldn't have said what I did after. Don't worry about it. I know it must have been hard, but I never realised what you'd gone through. Well, how could you? And they were tough on you. I couldn't have stood up to them like you did. You would have told them where to go. So I should have done. Yeah, well, maybe you should, but um, you're not me, are you? At least you managed to hold it together. I didn't, Chaz. I fell apart. Some of the things I said... Mm, yeah, OK, some of the things weren't too clever, but you said that you loved your son. You wanted to help him and that you were grateful to Aaron for what he did. I mean, that's what matters, isn't it? That's what the jury will remember. I know what you're trying to do. And I appreciate it. So stop beating yourself up. I can't help it. Jerry's up next. I mean, he's really going to stick the knife in. So what if he does? Yeah, we've got a long way to go. You just have to stay strong. Yeah, you're right. It'll be fine. It will. It'll be fine. Come on, son. Tomorrow's another day.